أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته believers briefly allow me to look at some of the most asked questions regarding our respected mom Khadija رحمة الله عليها may Allah's mercy be upon her Khadija عليها الصلاة والسلام was born in Mecca and she is known as Malikatul Arab you understand secondly she was married to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam for 25 years for 25 years and uh, the reason to why she got married to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam ha and prophet muhammad had interest in one another you understand my brother or sister because she was pious prophet was pious she was a business lady prophet muhammad was a business person you understand she was a muslim prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was a muslim too you understand so they had many factors in common and at the end they got married to one and at the end she got married to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam she spent 25 years with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam till when she passed away in Mecca. This is a great lesson to you my respected brothers and sisters. If you are a sister, let's try to avoid things which may end up causing divorce. You understand? If you are my brother, let's try our best to act as like Prophet Muhammad how he, how he acted when he was always with Prophet with Khadija rahmatullahi alayha to go further still as i said she spent 25 years with prophet of islam the apostle of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and she gave birth to fatima to zahra alayha salam khadija she's among the ladies you understand the four ladies the leaders of paradise you get it she's among the four ladies the leaders of paradise in uh, for women in paradise for all, for all women in paradise so her position can never be compared to any mother you understand or to any wife of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallama a known tradition among the sunni brothers and the shiite says in uh, bihal and wal in sahih muslim and other books had it not to have been the money of khadija the wealth of Khadija rahmatullahi alayha and the sword zulfika of imam ali alayhi salatu wasalam it would have been impossible to propagate this islam therefore with her money prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam was in place to propagate islam khadija rahmatullahi alayha passed away in 619 you understand in 619 on the 10th of Ramadan and she was buried in Mecca among the fake tradition is there is uh, one which says that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the first revelation iqra bism rabbika alladhi khalaq in surah alak that uh, when she went back that when prophet muhammad went back to her house he told her you understand that cover me cover me I'm fainting and doing everything. Then in the due process came Waraka. Waraka was a Christian priest. That uh, is this Waraka who told then prophet that now you that now you are a prophet of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can it make any sense a Christian to tell a prophet Muhammad that is now a pro, that is now a prophet? Therefore prophet Muhammad didn't know his position. The Shia literature says Prophet Muhammad was eagerly waiting for prophethood and uh, revelation from Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. The Shia literature says Prophet Muhammad from the beginning he was eagerly waiting for command from Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala to start the divine mission. Therefore he never trembled nor did he ask waraka that am I prophet now? Because once we say that uh, he asked Waraka that now am I a prophet it could imply that Waraka was more wiser than Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam 
Prophet Muhammad was the most wise. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama is the most wise among all people. From Nabi Adam up to the end. You understand? Of this universe. Of this world or till the day of judgment. There is no one who is more wise who can be compared to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama. To go further, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elected Prophet Muhammad because he had all the best attributes, knowledge, infallibility, among others. Therefore, you cannot say that uh, uh, he trembled and he, never knew, and he never knew his position after getting the first uh, revelation, my respected brother or sister. Khadija rahmatullahi alayha, as I said, may Allah's mercy be upon her, she spent her money in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With her money, she managed to invest it in Islam so that we can also be Muslims now. It's a great lesson here, my brother or sister. If you're a brother, let's try to act like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama. You and your wife, you can, you can do anything to spread Islam, as Prophet did. If you are my sister, you can be like Khadija. By spreading Islam, spend the little you have in Allah's way. Give out to charity, wear hijab. You understand? So that you end up inspiring others. Be like Khadija, my sister. Be like Muhammad, my brother. There's another question here asked that uh, what was her age when she got married to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? What was her age, Khadija, rahmatullahi alayha, when she got married to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? The Sunni brothers say she was widow and 40 years old. When she got married to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, when Prophet Muhammad was 25 years, they say that uh, she was older than Prophet Muhammad 15 years. Is it true? We say no. Due to the fabrications of hadith we looked at, the only authentic book is only Holy Quran. Many traditions were forged in order to lower and despise Prophet Muhammad and his pure lineage, plus his wives. We cannot rely on those fake ahadiths, you understand? And so that therefore Prophet Muhammad got married to an old lady. You get it, my brother or sister? It can't make any sense. We say the only Sahih book is only Holy Quran, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised to protect him. Himself in Surah Al Hijr, verse number nine. Her real age when she got married to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam actually is even in Sunni ink, Sunni book called Tabakat ibn Saad. You understand? She was only three years older than Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam. This is Sunni authentic ink here, my brother or sister. How many children Khadija Rafatullah alayha had with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama? She had three sons, Qasim, Tayyib, Qasim, Taib, and Tawahil. You understand? And she got a daughter with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama, Fatima to Zahara alayha salam. The Sunni brothers say that uh, she had other children with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, like Zainab. Ruqayya and Kulusum. Uh, the Shia literature says, and from authentic sources, it says that uh, those three daughters were not uh, the daughters, these three daughters, the Zainab, Ruqayya, and Kulusum, were not children of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama, but they were Khadija's sister's children. The sister of Khadija called Hala was the mother of these three children, Zainab, Rukaya, and Kulusumu. Therefore, Khadija had only four children with Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, Qasim, Tayeb, and Tahil, plus 
Fatima to Zahara alayha salam there are for these other children like Zainab Ruqayya Kulsumoya when prophet Muhammad got married to her you understand she came when prophet Muhammad got married to Khadija these three children came with Khadija in the house of prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam because prophet Muhammad was rahmatul alamin was mercy to entire world as we saw uh, that uh, as we saw in Surat al Anbiya, verse number 107. Let's learn to pass via when, uh, when challenges comes to us. Don't get divorced. Don't be divorced because maybe your, uh, your husband is unemployed. You, my brother, don't, like in case maybe you get challenged, end up insulting your family members. Prophet Muhammad is Uswatun Hasana, as we saw in Surat al Anbiya. As we saw in Surat Al Ahzab, verse number 21. Therefore, let's learn to emulate this uh, great prophet and, her, and his uh, family members. Khadija Rahmatullah, alayha, due to her services to Islam, due to her services to Islam, in Quranic chapter 93, in Quranic chapter 93, verse number 8, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala applauds her. And it says, Wawajadaka ilan fa'agina. You understand? When he's speaking, Prophet Muhammad he says, Didn't. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, applauding the great services of this uh, great figure, Khadija rahmatullahi alayha, who can never be compared to any mother. You understand? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wawajadaka wa ilan fa'agina. Wawajadaka ilan fa'agina. And find you in want and make you to be free from want. Therefore, it's trying to mean that uh, when he got married to Khadija, Khadija funded most of the services, you understand, towards the propagation of Islam. For the time, she was with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama. Therefore, let's try not to be greedy. Let's always learn to put in Let's not wait for sponsors. We can also do something for the cause of Islam and many people can end up joining this great religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the same thing actually which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes in Surah Tawbah verse number 71. That the believing brothers and sisters are friends to one another. You understand? They command doing of good actions and prohibit evil. The sisters and brothers, Khadija was a lady. She put in for the cause of Islam. We can also put in my brother and sister. Because even other verses says that uh, let's compete in doing of good actions. We can be like Khadija. You sisters can be like Khadija. And we brothers can try our best to emulate the prophet of Islam. Khadija Rahmatullahi Alayha passed away in 619. You understand? CE. It is known as uh, Amul Huzin. You understand? The year of sorrow and sadness. Prophet Muhammad uh, felt bad because of the same year when he lost even his uncle Abu Talib. Therefore, he lost the financial minister, minister of finance, Khadija plus security minister uh, Abu Talib. He felt really bad, Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and she was buried in Jannatul Mu'alla Cemetery in Mecca. As we said that uh, Khadija rahmatullahi alayhi even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala applauds her in Surat al duha verse number 8 that she put in everything for the sake of Islam. It's amazing that when she passed away a person who invested a lot in Islam said that we can also be on the right path, right course. When she passed away in 619 CE, it's known as uh, Amal Hussein, the year of Saul. You understand? And sadness to Prophet Muhammad. Because it's the same year when, when he lost uh, two great figures, Khadija, his wife, who put in, who acted as Minister of Finance, plus the security minister, Abu Talib, who always kept him. You understand? He lost two people. It's amazing that in 1925, where she was buried in Jannatul Mu'alla in Mecca Cemetery, the Wahhabis in 1925 
came and put everything on the ground. They end up destroying. They destroyed the holy shrine of this great mother who is among the great ladies, the four great leaders of paradise, of all the women in paradise. The Wahhabis destroyed her grave, claiming that it's Bidia, as they always claim each and everything, like Maulidi, Tahali, Talakain. They ended up, the structure which was built on top of her grave, they destroyed it under the command of Saudi king. You understand, my brother? Remember we say that among the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam include his words, actions, and silent approvals. When Prophet Muhammad was born and he, when he also became prophet, there is a grave of Prophet Ismail alayhi wa sallam around the holy Kaaba. Do you understand my brother or sister? Prophet Muhammad looked at that grave. He never said that maybe destroy it or maybe uh, remove that, uh, uh, that structure on top of it. He never said anything. Therefore, it's among the silent approvals of Prophet Muhammad, among the Sunnah, to construct on graves. Look at the grave, you understand, of his wife, Khadija. When she passed away, he raised it and he constructed on top of it the same grave of Abu Talib. These Wahhabis came and destroyed each and everything. Do you understand, my brother? Remember, we say that building on the graves, structures, you understand, it's not bid as claimed by the Wahhabis. Therefore, if they destroyed the structure on top, the holy shrine of Khadija, a great figure, they made a big mistake. Because even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran chapter 18, verse number 21, when the people of the cave passed away, the companions of the cave passed away, the people came and some of them proposed, you understand, you understand, that we shall raise a masjid over them, a structure over them. It's the same thing Allah is narrating to Prophet Muhammad. Had it have been Bidia, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could, could not have revealed it. Therefore, building on graves, it helps us to do ziyara on our deceased relatives and friends. Therefore, if Wahhabis destroyed her grave, they made a big mistake, my brother and sister. Let's learn to be like Khadija, you, my respected sisters. Let's put in, wear hijab, respect your husband, do each and everything, be a mother, you understand, to your children, who mentor them Islamically. Look what Khadija, mentoring Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. Khadija never got divorced, you understand, like other mothers whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blamed in Surah Surat Taharim. Khadija spent 25 years with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Due to her great, due to her great attributes, characters, Prophet liked her. That's why, that's why when she passed away, Prophet felt bad. I can be like Muhammad. You can be like Fatima to Zahara, alayhi salam. You can be like Khadija. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our knowledge, to bless us all the right path of Quran and Al-Bayt, alayhi salatu wa salam. Kindly keep sharing up to last person. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.